Hello everyone, you're Royce here and welcome to our channel since Sensibria 101. So for this episode, we're going to feature another inflorescence or flower bloom coming from the Sensibria hybrid known as Sensibria Macau. So this is one of Charon Sachs hybrid and uh, the breeder's code is CH17999. So uh, folks, just keep in mind if someone tells you CH17999 and uh, you see uh, another one uh, having the ID uh, Sensibria Macau, they're just one and the same. And uh, going back to what we are going to feature, it is the inflorescence or flower bloom. So what uh, you see in the picture there is the early stages of the budding phase where you see that uh, there are uh, flower bracts on top and then the flower stalk is uh, very short as of the moment. So as we uh, discuss the inflorescence on a day-to-day -day basis you would uh, notice that the flower stalk will grow in length and right now what you see is the flower bracts are one by one uh, being left behind or below the flower stalk as it uh, grows in length uh, you would not be able to see the flower tubes yet because mostly what's on top our flower bracts but right now uh, in this phase which is still the budding phase because the uh, flower tubes uh, have not yet uh, opened up so uh, in this stage you would already see that the flower tubes are uh, growing apart from each other they have come uh, they came out from the uh, flower bracts and uh, they will uh, also grow in a specific length uh, I think I have measured it in the second part of the content uh, and then the flower tubes would grow to about uh, 0.75 of an inch on the topmost portion and then on the bottom part uh, up to the mid section uh, it would be around uh, 1 inch so right now the flower tubes are still very short I think they're still about uh, 0.25 of an inch but then as I show you on uh, day-to-day -day basis or as the days goes by uh, especially on this uh, picture you would notice that the flower tubes are already about an inch of uh, the length so next pictures would be the already uh, the blooming phase wherein you would see that uh, first group of the flower tubes have, have opened up especially on the bottom por portion then the top most are still closed so they will not all the flower tubes will open up but in groups so we will discuss that further on the second part of this content so uh, folks uh, please uh, stay tuned as we will have a second clip wherein we will be discussing the uh, inflorescence characteristics uh, with a uh, video clip all right folks we're back and we will be discussing the inflorescence or flower bloom of the century hybrid known as century macau with the uh, breeders code ch17999 and as we all know the uh, breeders code st starting with ch belongs to charon sak suki wong of thailand and uh, this is my own specimen of Sensibria Macau. Uh, let me move back a bit so you can see how it looks like in full view. So uh, this is uh, how my Sensibria Macau has grown and it has bloomed for me. So we will be discussing the inflorescence or flower bloom of Sensibria Macau for this episode. I will be also including it on the playlist of uh, Charon Sachs hybrids or CH hybrids on the channel so if you guys are interested you can just uh, check out or scroll the uh, playlist and look for uh, CH hybrids playlist and that belongs to Charon Sachs Suki Wong so going back um, we will be describing the enforcement of flower bloom so actually the uh, flower stock is very short and on the first part of the content i have shown you pictures of the transformation of inflorescence from day one up to uh the um, current state which is uh, the one that i'm showing you right now uh <clears throat> it's interesting to uh go back to or in the future if uh, there are several hybrids that look like the uh such via macau then we can go back and uh, compare the inflorescence if we have uh wh or which or if we have a different hybrid in future compared to what i'm showing you right now so 
going back this is how the enforcements looks like and what I have here is the uh, measuring tape to measure the uh, height of the enforcements like I said the height of the enforcements is actually very short and it's not uh, reaching to about 12 inch uh, with what I have right now it's showing 9 inches and then uh, for the flower tubes I can actually measure them and it's about 1 inch for the flower tubes and uh, the topmost portion though it is just I, I, I would say half of an inch uh, there you go so um, I'll perhaps give a uh, update an update on the comment section whether the uh, topmost portion will still uh, grow in length before opening up but uh, right now the the flower tubes that have opened up or bloomed are measuring uh, at a, uh, or having a measure of about uh, one inch and then uh, the color of the flower stalk is just uh, pale green and uh, flowers per cluster the flowers on top are just uh, they're just about one flowers attached to the flower stalk and some are on that part flower tubes attached attach to the uh, flower stalk uh, on the bottommost portion I have actually measured it or uh, checked it a few days ago uh, and then I'm not sure about uh, what's occurring but uh, some of the flower tubes fell off but I have counted them at five uh, flower tubes attached or uh, in a cluster that's the maximum for uh, the enforcements of Sanchebria Macau so for flowers per cluster on the bottommost portion to the uh, middle part it could have five uh, at most five flower tubes in uh, one cluster and then on the topmost portion we are left with just one flower tube attached to the uh, flower stalk so that gives us five to one flowers per cluster uh, <clears throat> Aside from that, I have nothing else to describe the enforcements. Uh, aside from the flower tubes are greenish on the topmost portion, uh, there's a darker green coloration. And then the petals would be white in color. Uh, I have not seen any Sensivirias that have uh, has any uh, uh, or different color aside from white when it terms of uh, flower tubes. So uh, as Per the hybrid itself this is how it looks like that's the uh, leaf tips uh, they're kind of subulate before you have the needle like part so there's a subulate tip on this portion before you get the uh, red uh, red uh, spike at the end part of the leaf so uh, with regards to the measure of the leaf, they're not very long and uh, the leaf would just be around uh, 4 inches or so. I, I can't quite uh, put the tape uh, straight, straight but there you go. Uh, they're at, at most 4 inches in length for the uh, leaf length of uh, Santeria Macau so uh, again I'll put an update with regards to the leaf length when I visit uh, a colleague of mine because she has bigger uh, Santeria Macau's uh, in her garden so um, we can peg the uh, leaf length at uh, 3 to 4 for the uh, for how long the uh, leaves of Santeria Macau would grow so aside from that, the uh, leaf pattern, uh, it's almost um, patternless, but uh, you can barely see that there are uh, dark bandings that can right over here. They, they are by, there are dark bandings on the leaf that you can barely see. Aside from that, uh, the, the pattern on the leaves, they are pa patternless. 
So, aside from what we have discussed, I think we can uh, end the content. The content. And if you have any questions or any clarifications, please feel free to leave a comment below. And if you uh, liked what I have presented, folks, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. So thank you for watching and you all have a great day.